Donna Gelman here, naturopathic doctor. Today's topic, we're going to um, continue on the subject of fatigue, and specifically, we're going to talk about thyroid health. And I love this topic. Um, it happens with so many patients who I see come into my office, fatigue, and they don't really understand why. I test their thyroid and we treat them and they feel like a whole new person. So I want to give you some clues into if a thyroid disorder is likely to be your condition and three things to try to figure out if it is and how to treat it, what to do about it. So the first thing to know is the symptoms that are very common with hypothyroidism, which is underactive thyroid gland. The first thing is a fatigue. That's why we're talking about it today. But in, a, in addition to fatigue, there's easy weight gain, there's cold intolerance, so easy chill, there's thinning of your hair, dry skin, and depressed mood. It's very common, all of these kind of symptoms. Now, obviously, if you have all of these symptoms, your doctor should know to go ahead and run a thyroid panel. But even if you just have one or two, have, encourage your doctor to help investigate why this is happening. Now, the second point of this is now getting your blood work back, ordering that thyroid panel, and interpreting the labs. And every doctor reads and interprets labs a little bit differently. And I want to share with you how I do it so you can compare with how your doctor may do it so you can just get the best of both worlds and a lot of information. So I look at the thyroid stimulating hormone, which is TSH, as my first marker. And I want to make sure that my patients are not anywhere above two, okay? Now, this still, as like if you have a 2.1 or a 2.2, you're still considered a normal range, but there's no doubt in my mind that if a patient comes in with these symptoms that I just rattled off and they're in the range of a little bit of above two or greater, there's no doubt about it, I'm treating them. So be your own health advocate. Talk to your doctor about your lab interpretations that's associated with your symptoms and get yourself treated if you truly feel like this is the right diagnosis for you. Don't give up so quickly. Now the third point of that is treatment, is that when you do start a treatment, don't settle with just the first prescription that your doctor may give you because it may not be the right type of medication for you for a thyroid. There's a lot of different ones and you wanna give the body time to adjust and make sure it's reacting to that right medication. Now on the natural perspective as well, there are a lot of other minerals and vitamins that are associated with thyroid production that can help with the hormones that are being prescribed to really give you optimal thyroid health. So. The takeaways from this are threefold. Understand the symptoms. Two, don't give up even if your lab interpretation is in normal range. If you have those symptoms, find a doctor that will help treat you. And number three, when you're ready to be treated, don't give up on the first treatment if it's not working for you. I promise you, if you get on that right, rem that right medicine, it'll do wonders to your health and you'll feel like yourself again. Well, I hope that you found this helpful. If you feel like anybody else could benefit from this information, please share the video. Any questions, any comments, I always welcome. <music>